Hello to your fans of football, welcome to Sport Mob, where we bring the latest Euro 2020 news directly to you. It's happened again. Cristiano Ronaldo has broken yet another record in his illustrious career. The Portugal international managed to become the all-time top scorer in Euro history, surpassing Michel Platini, with whom he had tied for the position for four years. Ronaldo went on to score a brilliant brace in his nation's 3-0 win over Hungary, which took his overall tally to 11 goals. Of course, this is only the beginning of his record-setting run and he can easily improve on his tally throughout Euro 2020. The Juventus striker is quite literally a goal machine and is on his way to breaking yet another record, becoming the all-time top scorer in football history. He's managed to score a total of 106 goals in 176 international appearances, while also adding 40 assists as well. As if Denmark's Christian Eriksen collapsing to the ground after suffering a sudden cardiac arrest wasn't enough, yet another horrible accident has occurred, this time during the clash between France and Germany. While some jimmy jumps like the one in the UCL final between Tottenham and Liverpool can be quite entertaining to many, this particular example only resulted in two spectators being hospitalised. The accident came after a botch of paragliding stunt during the match, with the Greenpeace protester hitting spider cam wires and bolting into the stands. The protester's parachute, which was emblazoned with the words kick out oil, hit his spider cam wire when he attempted to fly into the stadium and land on the pitch. The protester went on to clip the heads of two spectators before finally managing to divert his parachute onto the pitch. Some debris even fell in front of France manager Didier Deschamps. Why would someone attempt such a dangerous thing, you ask? Well, the man responsible for the accident was protesting against Volkswagen, who are an official sponsor of Euro 2020. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. We might have gotten used to Luis Suarez and his old shenanigans in the Premier League all those years ago, but it seems that the former Barcelona striker is not the only biter in football. German international Antonio Rudiger actually bit France star Paul Pogba during yesterday's game between the two powerhouses. The incident was initially missed by the officials, but thanks to all the footage we get, the attempt was quickly revealed to everyone. Rudiger was tasked with covering Pogba on the pitch, but it seems like he took his job a bit too seriously when he directed a subtle bite into the Manchester United midfielder's back. Pogba went on to confirm the biting attempt, saying the German defender nibbled a bit and he felt it, but he doesn't want him suspended. Thankfully though, despite the officials missing the incident, and with Pogba initially complaining about it to the referee, the two footballers talked it out after the full-time whistle, which is all we ever wanted. Fair play. Yesterday was a good day. We got to see Ian Rice genius at cracking a joke as he mocked his fellow pundit Roy Keane for apparently wearing a captain's armband on his jumper during ITV's coverage of last night's game between France and Germany. Former Manchester United midfielder and one of the most decorated players in United history, Roy Keane was wearing a jumper that had four white hoops on its left sleeve, which resembled the captain's armband. The joke came when Mark Pogac went on to introduce a new segment of the show by saying, Wales need their captain, the man who wears the armband. That's when Wright took his chance and quickly responded with, Like Roy is, look, he has to keep his armband on his jumper. The cheeky dig was enough for Wright, Pogac and Patrick Vieira to all erupt into laughter, mocking their fellow pundit. Pogac added to the joke by saying, Two captains, one armband. The joke didn't end there, as Ian Wright once again jumped in to finish it off by sarcastically saying, He's letting us know he is a captain. We sure hope to see much more of the iconic duo of Ian Wright and Roy Keane. But that's it for today. Thanks for being with us until the end. If you liked our video, make sure to subscribe and click on the little bell to get notified of all our daily uploads.